Welcome to SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo, and we're going to talk about movies, and specifically movies about veterans. We're with uh, Tim Derneck, and uh, you're the Lionhearted executive producer, yep. and Shane Ruiz, Lionhearted director and uh, producer. Tell me a little bit about what Lionhearted is. Well, Dave, this uh, came about a couple years ago. Shane and I both work for Safari Land, and their mission there has always been Together We Save Lives. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to find a way to really validate that statement outside of just product, right? And so what we wanted to do is sit down and say, hey, how can we honor our veterans uh, through art, right? And what we decided to do was sit down with 22 different veterans, listen to their stories, listen to their stories about war, about combat, how they're healing through that process. While that was going on, we actually had an artist sit down and get inspired by those stories. All of the stories became a movie and a documentary, and that's what led us to here. Yeah. That's really interesting. How long is it? Uh, the documentary is 24 minutes long, and it goes um, from veterans from Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, uh, men and women of all different services that they uh, that they did while they were in the military. And um, the artists and our film crew, we travel around the United States, and as their veterans are telling their stories, um, it allows an outlet for them to articulate their experiences, and Sean, the artist, draws and sketches their stories on um, what it looks like is a piece of paper. And at uh, the last scene of the documentary, uh, Sean actually, you know, he places down this piece of paper as the camera pulls back, it, you, it reveals a piece of Safariland body armor. There's a lot of cross similarities be between that, these stories and these armor. It's the, the weight, the security, and the protection that goes into um, what these veterans have to face every day. As the camera pulls back even more, you see that it's a mosaic of 22 different stories from all these men and women. That's an American flag that's, um, you know, from all these different cultures and backgrounds from across the United States that encompasses one beautiful piece of artwork. So this launched in November, right? Yes. Correct. Yeah. Do we, it's an in internet-based uh, movie. Yeah. Do we have any idea how many hits it's had? How many uh, people have watched it? We're over half a million now. Is and that really, right? We want people to experience it more. There's, there's so much depth in these stories, right? This is really about healing. It's about listening to these individuals. Yeah. Um, who are now civilians, right? And as they go through that process of healing, we hope that, you know, honestly, that these stories will impact other veterans that are struggling, that are trying to figure out, you know, what, what steps do I need to take to, to start to really combat this, this PTSD or combat some of the stuff I'm going through. For what we've seen, you know, from a lot of just emails and responses, that as veterans hear other veterans be brave and take courage and step out and tell their story, that it for them becomes a moment of catharsis, sure. right? They can almost start to identify what it's like to end that narrative of being a combat soldier and being something that, that is now in, in the civilian world, something that can start to benefit others that have been veterans and start that healing process, which can be a long journey for some of them. It's interesting because when, when, the, when troops came back from World War II, they were heroes because exactly. that was a very pop, popular, maybe not the best war uh, word, but it, you know what I'm saying, it was a popular yeah. war. So they came home to parades and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Korea was sort of, eh, Vietnam, they spit at us. Yeah. I mean, there was no, you couldn't talk to anybody. Yeah. And then we went a period of time without anything of major yeah. consequence. And then we got into this, which has got to be the most visual war, the whole Absolutely. the whole Middle Eastern thing. Absolutely. It's in the headlines, it's on yeah. television, and stuff like that. And that, that sort of, I'm sure, creates some form of being able to, to express yourself? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm sure it, it does, you know. There's, I'm, I'm, I almost see it as a double-edged sword because it's easy to get wrapped up in, in hearing thank yeah. you for your service over and over and it almost, you gotta be careful because for, for some guys, they can mask their true feelings sure. just by smiling and putting a happy face because you're supposed to be brave when you come home. And that's but, what they do. Right, yeah. and for some of these guys, uh, the experiences they felt there are, once you come home, you know, you're trained for violence. You're trained to be violent, yeah. and, to, and that is the mission. But when you come home, it's how do you disassociate from that, yeah. right? And how That's do you truly true. heal that? How do you bring your, your family and your friends into that story, yeah. right? That is part of this process, right, is being able to engage other veterans to say, hey, it takes a step of courage. It's okay to talk about it. It's okay to be afraid and not know what to do because that that infant that infancy of, uh, or that moment of, of, of courage is where true healing can begin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I suspect that it's probably easier now than it was because it is a very visual thing. Yeah. Wives 
get a glimpse on, on the news yeah. of what yeah, they're hosting. Yeah. And they usually get the worst glimpse, too. Yeah, That's yeah it. they do. So there, there's probably more understanding, or at least more openness to talking to the person who Absolutely. comes back. Yeah, and that, that's exactly what this film does. It, it allows these veterans to articulate the things that they've been through and really sail home to themselves. Yeah. Um, the artwork is hung in the um, National Veterans Art Museum. It was accepted there as a permanent display. And it was uh, featured in on, on Veterans Day in Washington, D.C. at the Smithsonian. Smithsonian yeah. So it's a really big honor for these veterans because even the know that they're in the project, they're helping out every veteran sure, that's out yeah, there. Sure. Uh, so it's a very special thing. And like Tim was saying, um, we've had a lot of feedback, a lot of emails of people who have written in who kind of put everything on the back burner now. Because, you know, when you go to group therapy at the VA, it's very difficult. Yeah. You know, you start comparing stories. Yeah. But now that you can watch people just get it all out, it's very raw. They can get it all out and they can, they can see moments of, ah, oh, I've been through that. It really allows them to open up and feel like they can express themselves. It, it sounds like a wonderful project. Um, if people want to uh, want to see this, where do they go? How do they do it? If you want to see the project, you can go on lionheartedfilm.com. Um, there's an Instagram page, lionheart lionhearted underscore film, um, and they can see it on there. This is available on YouTube as well, and we have some more future plans with the project as well. That's super. Thanks, guys. That's a really great project. Yeah. Dave, thank, thank you. you so thank you for your service as well. Thank you. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. Thank right. you, Dave. And for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.